Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video I'll show you how you can create your own custom brand theme and apply it to any SharePoint site of your Office 365 tenant. I'll show you every step how you can achieve this goal through PowerShell. Ok, let's get started. Here I am on SharePoint, this is a communication site. Now I'll show you that I already created a custom brand theme and I will apply now this new theme to this SharePoint site. How I can do that? All you need to do is click on the wheel icon here, then change the look. Finally, on theme, you will find all out-of-the-box theme here available, SharePoint themes. And then on top you can see the current theme applied to this site. Now I created here a new custom theme called Brand Orange Theme. And here you can see that are available all company temps. Now I can select this custom tem, and this is a preview of my new custom tem applied to this site. Now if I want to confirm this new tem for this SharePoint site, I have to click on the button Save. And now this new tem is applied to my SharePoint site. I am now in the official Microsoft documentation about site theming of SharePoint. Here is explained everything about how you can create your custom theme and apply it to SharePoint. Don't worry, I will add this link in the description of this video. Now I want to focus on this link, Team Generator tool, because this will be the key tool in order to create our custom theme. So then let's click on this link and let's open it in a new tab of the browser. Now we have this new page and here basically we can create and we can start to build our theme. This is the Fluent UI Team Designer. If you are not familiar with Fluent UI, it is a front-end framework used by Microsoft for Office 365. Here we can easily create our theme. So on the left here we have the color and we have primary color, text color and background color. Let's start to create our ten. I want to create now my new color and this will be this color and the text will be white. Yes, and finally the background color, this will be, there we go. So now, as you can see, we have here an evaluation about this theming. Your color palette has three accessibility errors. Each pair of colors below should produce legible text and have a minimum contrast of 4.5. So this is very important because define if the theme that you build is good and is accessible to every user. This means that we have to fix now this thing. So the text color is not good as is, then we have to change to black, for example. And But we still have some, some issue here. You can see the issue that you have here, non-accessible pairs, primary color on background color. So this primary color is not very suitable on the background color. All we need to do now is change this background color. We can try to adjust. And now we have this uh, red, which is not really good, but this is a little bit darker. And as you can see now, we have this green text. This means that it looks good now. We don't have any kind of issue. Now on this page, you can see the preview, how it looks like your theme. And this is very cool because you have a good overview how it looks like every component in SharePoint. Here we have the slider, here we have the option button, here we have a toggle button, then we have the button, how it looks like the button. I can enable now every components here and I can see buttons how it looks like, for example. I can see the option button, checkbox and the link. So now it looks very good. And below here we have the palettes slots. This means that I, I can check CSS classes, how it looks like. So we have here predefined classes that you can use if you want to build a new custom web application in the context of SharePoint. Okay, let's say that now it looks good, this new tab. I will click now on the button Export Tab. Clicking on this button, you will have three options here available. 
code, JSON, and PowerShell. You can reuse this code if you want to consume the REST API, for example, and you want to import this code, for example, in your web app. Or you can consume the REST API. This means that you can immediately copy this JSON and import in your REST API call. But we will use PowerShell, which for my opinion is the easiest way to apply a new custom temp to SharePoint. Then I will select now this text and I will copy now these palette colors that I will use in PowerShell. I am back on the Microsoft documentation. Now it's time to click on the link PowerShell commandlets because as I mentioned, I will use PowerShell to apply our new custom temp. Let's click on this link. Here we can see all you need to do to use and consume these PowerShell commandlets. You have to install the SharePoint Online Management Shell. Then you have to perform the connection to your SharePoint Online environment. And finally, you will be able to apply your SPO10 by executing this command, add SPO10. I will open now PowerShell Easy, but you can use the normal Windows PowerShell or Visual Studio Code just to mention some example. Okay, let's just search for Windows PowerShell Easy. I will run this instance of PowerShell Easy as administrator. I am now here in the PowerShell Easy instance. I will paste now something that I already copied from my previous activity. Now here with this command, I can check if I have already installed this commandlet of PowerShell, microsoft.online.sharepoint.powershell. I will execute now this command and as we can see, I have a version already installed, so I will use it. Then I added here this command that you can execute if you have to install for the first time this PowerShell commandlet. Then there is also the update model if there is a new version available. Okay, let's start now to make to establish a connection to SharePoint. You have to target your SharePoint admin portal. And of course, you need to be admin. Okay, let's run now this row. I am now logged as admin in my SharePoint environment. I can check if I have some TAM already. And yes, how as we can see, we have a brand orange TAM already created in our SharePoint environment. Now I will just run this line because I want to create my team palette with the settings that we created before with the team generator tool. Okay, let's run now this command. The variable now has the right colors, the right palette color. And now I can run this command, add SPO team. Then I have to adjust the name of this new team, which will be brand red 10. The, the variable with the palette color and now overwrite. This is useful if you want to update an existing 10. Okay, let's run now this command and here we go. We will check now on SharePoint this new custom 10. I am on SharePoint and I am in a communication site. Now I want to check the new custom tem that I just added through PowerShell. In order to apply the new tem, you have to click on settings, the wheel icon, and then change the look. Finally, in tem, you will find this new custom tem under company tems. We have the first one that I just created previously, and we have the new one, the red tem. I will click now on the new one, and finally, the new tem is applied. I can click on save and now this new tab is available for my SharePoint communication site. This new tab is available tenant wide. This means that is available for every SharePoint site. Last thing that I want to call out here is that you have the ability to hide the default teams, SharePoint teams available here. Going back on PowerShell, we can run this command, set SPO hide default temps. And here you can just type true. Now, if I execute this command and going back on SharePoint, I do a refresh now and opening again settings, change the look and 
TAM, we can see that now the classic TAMs of SharePoint are disappeared. Ok, that was a quick tutorial how to create a custom TAM in SharePoint. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!